Well, here you go, and everyone, Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week this week, ladies and gentlemen, as always say. Hope you're able to find some awesome cars for your collections. Hope you had an awesome week. Well, this is my lot of stuff for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Got some awesome stuff here off my man, mate. Managed to do a big old package deal, bundled it all together, and got some pretty awesome cars in the mix here off him as well. He done me a really good deal, in my opinion. We shall get to that probably just in a second after the flea market finds to my right here. Got some red lines here off good old eBay. Managed to get some in the mail this week. I did get some other things as well, but I shall share them in a later video. And got some flea market finds this week. I was absolutely shocked to actually find some stuff. Because over the last couple of weeks, I haven't really been finding anything at the flea markets when I've been going with Dad. Managed to score these at my f the first flea market we go to. Some Plano cases. Made in the good old USA, these ones are. And they're quite expensive in the shops over here as well. I think this one's at least 12, 12 or $13. Managed to score the two of them for a wallet-busting wallet $5. So I was very happy with that. $5 for the two, that is. And came with free sand. I'm pretty happy with that. I can make a little beach later on. Just kidding, I'll need to clean it out and... Got a little compartment down there too. I'm always in need of cases and I'm sure I'll find some stuff to put in these later on in the distant future. And managed to score a whole heap of, heap of the um, dividers in this one as well. So I don't think I'll be running out of them anytime soon. So very happy with them. Made in the good old USA as well. That's what I'll have to see. And got at the second flea market we went to, managed to score some die cars. Got these three guys here for $5. Got the old Byway Man here. Variation I haven't come across until now. I think she was made in 1999, this one, and I think she was part of a five pack. It was pretty much almost before she was discontinued from the Hot Wheels line, which is very sad because she's a very awesome truck. And certainly one of my all-time favourite vehicles in the Hot Wheels. The old mighty Chevy, Chevy truck, the old Byway Man. Yep, everyone knows I love collecting these. Or if you don't know, I love collecting the Byway Mans. Got the old Pontiac Fiero here. In probably, I would have to say, my favourite paint scheme of this car ever bought out. With the old American flag on the side there. Really awesome. And I have seen a Pontiac Fiero over here as well, believe it or not. Pretty cool little car, and I do believe the engine is in the back. Very cool little car indeed, and got the old little, I think this is called Large Charge. I think the casting bear, casting name would have been changed for this particular one, though, because it was brought out later on. With the old Ultra Hot Wheels, one of my favourite wheels of all time, because it reminds me when I was a kid. And she rolls pretty good as well for her age. Probably rolls better than a lot of the Hot Wheels you open out of the packet these days. I reckon she'd go pretty good on the track and die cars base as well. That's what you always love to see in the Hot Wheels. And I would have to say the score of the week at the flea market had to have been this little beach patrol. And she cost a whopping $2, would you believe it? I was very, very happy with that. The old white hubs seem to be a little bit more harder to find in the real riders from back in the day. In my opinion anyway, but I think a couple of the grey hub reel riders are quite hard to get nevertheless. Missing her surfboards, but that doesn't bother me. She's in still reasonable condition. Pretty decent shape, I would say, in my opinion. I do have a carded grey hub one, and I've got a few of the white hub and grey hub, and I think I've got a black wall one loose as well, which I'm pretty happy with. But another one doesn't hurt. Can't have too many beach patrols. Really awesome deed. Very, very happy with that. Moving on now to the stuff off my man, mate. Went to see him yet again this week. Really awesome to see him again because we all we seem to share the same views on the Hot Wheels. We love collecting the older die casts and that. Talked about what we had found during the week or what we hadn't found or hadn't gotten from eBay. But it was always awesome to talk to him about the Hot Wheels and that. And many other things, which is one of the awesome things about the hobby, in my opinion. But... Onto the die cast now, scored some a heap of Chevy stuff off him, might I say. We'll start off with the old 80s Camaro Z28 there from the Splatter Paint series. Remember that one from when I was little? 
all die casts as well which you always like to see the mighty Chevy Camaro everyone knows I love my Camaros and one I've always wanted the old seven spoke mod mod series 67 Camaro quite a hard piece to find with the seven spokes and there is a five spoke variation with black windows I do believe that one's quite hard to find as well so I'm very happy with this one probably display us somewhere because I love these old 67, 67 Camaros and had the, the five spoke one from when I was a kid no, I absolutely adore that paint scheme on a very wild and wacky takes me back to when I was a kid and got the old Corvette Stingray in the green gleam team color you could say the there was another body variation with the chrome but the green one I hadn't seen before so I was very glad to score that off my man mate and probably my favorite Corvette Hot Wheels have ever made absolutely adore it the old Gleam Team series is pretty cool too don't see them too often either 192 92 year I was born as well very very cool I like how it's all presented as well the old Gleam Team stuff and another California custom for the collection the old blown Camaro Z28 with the old grey hubs I know there was a uh, I think you could say laser disc wheel I think variation for this particular Camaro and also the orange color for the Camaro that one's a Camaro that one's a little bit more harder to find do have a loose one but carded ones are always good to have as well there's all the cars but well some of the cars were in the set there was a heap of cars they actually made for the California customs and heaps of variations as well not only with the windshield but paint and wheel variations as well I know I love picking them up whenever I can something I hadn't had in the collection well carded anyway the old shift kicker managed to score a carded one off my man mate I know he's got a couple and this one was one of his doubles he didn't mind giving up and I do have the exact same one just up there in that little container so it was awesome to get a carded one and the scorches were also presented the exact same on this kind of card and the, some of the Hot Wheels Railroad um, locomotives and cars were also on this particular style of card as well when they sold them singular for the railroad stuff so it's really awesome to see how Hot Wheels were presented back then for certain models and it says on Target there th at Target it was $3.99 then it was on clearance for a dollar someone got an absolute bargain back then for this little guy I paid a lot more than a dollar though but I still got a good deal nevertheless the old high frequency that one's an awesome looking model not sure what kind of car it resembles it sort of looks like a Stutz Blackhawk at the front a little bit yeah, I think that's an old Capri at the back there the old Scorcher set that would be pretty awesome to have and I think these are pulled back and you hit the shifter there and they take off I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works which it does say at the bottom there so so I'm very happy with that never had a carded one and don't see them all that often as well in my opinion and if anyone has a chance of picking one up I highly recommend you do pick one up because they well I don't come across them anyway so that one's very very awesome indeed got another one of these 20th anniversary sets got the old mighty chrome monster vet there are pretty much two different variations for each of the anniversary cars it either came out in chrome or gold chrome and I think there's a cup well a different variation for the combat medic as well in the actual casting so pretty happy with this one I love the monster vet the old XT03 is a pretty cool little model and this one's particularly hard to get because it only came in the 20th anniversary set it's not Thunderstreak I really forgot the name unfortunately but I think you all know what I mean that one's really cool as well the old Formula 1 or IndyCar so very happy with that love how the old 20th anniversary sets were presented back in the day really really, really awesome got a lot of cardboard with it and some pretty cool die cast got a turbo heater here I think my man mate threw this one in this one's in pretty darn good condition the old dash has been inside though but Obviously that had to do with the putting together of the little car. 
I believe it's a Dodge Omni as well, and I think probably one of the best things I've scored off my man mate this week has to be this little Chevy Citation, which is made in France, which explains the wacky way it has been carted up and presented, because that's how the, the French-made Hot Wheels were presented back in the day. They came on this little basic sort of blister pack, you could, you could probably say, and on the back there it's got, got it all in French. It's pretty cool sets. 1978, maybe 1980, and yes, they all were made in France. And the French stuff is quite hard to get, depending well, depending on certain cars, they're quite rare to get. Even Mexican-made Hot Wheels as well. Yes, there is Mexican-made Hot Wheels, but it's really awesome to see how each different country has different ways of marketing or having Hot Wheels marketed for their market you could say like France like Germany Italy there were Hot Wheels made in Italy with the Mibi toys Japan with the Japanese red boxes they're quite rare it's awesome to see all around the world all the different ways Hot Wheels was marketed and I've always had my eye on this little Chevy Citation and the she's got black interior the other variation of the French one had red interior like the mainline version you could say from Hong Kong so very very happy with that. I love collecting the French stuff. Always try and find it when I can or buy it when I can if the price is right. Which the price was right yesterday at my mad mate's place. Got an incredible deal on that just like I did with everything. So I'm very happy to have that in the collection. My third carded French car for the collection. So I'm very very happy indeed. And last but not least, my red lines just here. Managed to get three from eBay this week they arrived in the post I was quite happy with quite happy to see something actually because expecting a couple of things but nothing's really turned up got the old custom Volkswagen just here in a very nice blue color and something quite odd she doesn't seem to have a windshield now I would assume she was made without a windshield because I don't think someone could yank a windshield out of there and if they can well they're better than what I'd do not that you would yank a windshield out of the old Hot Wheel would you? So I assume she's a very early Hot Wheels era which is pretty cool and you gotta love the old little custom Volkswagen. Such a cool little car, quite a small little car too when comparing it to an American giant like the Pontiac Firebird. So very happy with that one. Dad loves his Volkswagen so it's a great addition to our collection. Got the old Light My Firebird and Olive, such a basic colour but a very nice car. Got a couple of variations for the Light My Firebird now. Very happy indeed. Another one of my favourite spoilers. And last but not least, the old Peepin' Bomb in enamel blue. Love the old enamel era stuff. Always love finding it. And it's a little bit harder to get to the old enamel era Hot Wheels from 1973. Some of them do command quite a premium and especially carded ones as well would love to have a carded one one day so very happy with all them as i am with every single find i've got this gotten this week and that pretty much wraps us up this week ladies and gentlemen thank you all for watching thank you to all the subscribers all the new people who have subscribed and even just people who just pass by and take a look at my video i really do appreciate you stopping by liking commenting or whatever during the video I really do appreciate each and every one of you tuning in each and every week or in the past or in the future thank you very much that's it for this week ladies and gentlemen really hope you did enjoy and remember as always everyone happy hunting keep the hobby strong see you later everyone have an awesome week